All right, Kelly, thank you so much. Well, some duck hunters in Massachusetts getting quite the surprise while out on the water. Hi, buddy. Get him right there. Hey, bubba. Oh, you get in with me. Oh, my God. <laughs> Almost doesn't look real. A friendly seal jumping into the boat and onto this hunter's lap, just right there. The hunter, uh, well, he posted the video onto YouTube, and it's gone viral since. You may have already seen it float around your office or something. Duck hunter Jeremiah Brooks joins us now with his once-in-a-lifetime experience. Good morning to you, Jeremiah. Thanks for being with us. Good morning, guys. So you're out there on Cape Cod, and you're with your buddies. You've taken some friends out uh, duck sea hunting, which is essentially in the ocean in the wintertime, and it's trying to get into your boat. Give us the play-by-play. -play. Yeah, what it is is... Uh, we're Ocean State Outfitters, and we take people sea duck hunting, um, you know, out on the ocean. And while we were out there running this particular hunt, uh, the boat started moving up rapidly. We're in what's called a layout boat. Mm -hmm. And I said to my friend Chip, I said, hey, I said, you know, why is the boat moving? And the little seal was trying to come on the boat, you know, up the front at first, and then he kind of shied away. And um, then, you know, the hunt proceeded. And then all of a sudden, I looked to my right, and here the little bugger comes right over the side and you know you see in the video his head his head is moving left and right left and right and then uh, that's him trying to kick up in the boat and once he got his little nubs over the, the side he just fell right in the boat and just started you know edging up my body and he was literally inches from my face and uh, his whiskers were actually touching my nose. Yeah, it was, he's right it was up. Quite he, the experience. He's all up in your grill, so to speak. I mean, are you scared yes, at, he, at any moment? I mean, did you think he was going to hurt you? Did you think there might be sharks in the water, and he was trying to get into the boat to get away from him? What are you? What are you thinking at this point? You know what? To tell you the truth, right down there, I was thinking, oh, "Wow, I hope he doesn't bite my face." That's what I was honestly thinking. And um, you know, while, while he was there and he was coming up, he just he wasn't <laughs> aggressive. Yeah. or anything he was just sitting there doing what he does but um he did keep looking back towards the water and looking back at us but um i think he was just purely inquisitive i don't know if there was a shark in the water or not but that was probably the only two things that might have put him in the boat was yeah. sheer inquisitiveness or maybe a predator in the water i mean you know who really knows but i just like to think he he just wanted to come on board and see us. Jeremiah, I'm no animal expert, but those eyes certainly look curious and sweet and just in awe of you, just as much as you were in awe of him. You were actually able to pet him. What did he feel like? He, it, it felt like uh, his fur or, or his coat was like wet cotton. So when you, when you touch cotton and it's wet, it kind of squishes out. And that's exactly what it felt like. It was amazing. Now, everybody else is around there. It's a real sign of the times that they grabbed their cell phone to, to get the video. What, what's going through their mind? What are they saying to you at this point? What, what was the question again? What, what is everybody in the boat doing while you're out there? And, the, and they're watching this all unfold. Oh, they, well, they didn't know it because they're, they're quite a distance away, so the, the sea ducks will act natural around the boat that we're in. But I did go over the 1MC and say, hey, we, we have a seal in the boat. And everybody's like, oh my gosh, you know, it was, it was pretty neat. It was pretty neat. So when I handed, you know, my iPhone to my friend Chip Thompson from mm -hmm. Delaware, mm -hmm. you know, he was able to record that little bit of a segment at the end of it. He's such a cutie patootie. Thanks for sharing this, this story with us and the, the video is just absolutely uh, amazing and heartwarming. Jeremiah, thank you for your time today. Hey, no problem. I really appreciate it. Thanks for having me on the show. Yeah.